Hello guys, this is Mabatu here. I'm going to share my life story with you at the village farm. Uh, this is a true story to tell. Uh, so come along or sit and listen as I'll be sharing my story to you. Yeah, the life uh, that I was living at the farm, yes. Yeah, there was time when uh, me and my grandmother, uh, we moved to the farm. And my due, it was, I was a student by that time at primary school. I think it was just about um, after the Christmas and New Year that we moved to the farm. Yeah, for plowing. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, you know, we used to walk uh, early in the morning at 4, 4 a.m. to school. Just imagine a young girl at primary school, you know, uh, walk to school at 4 a.m. So we are working with other children from the other farm. So it was not me alone. It was other about four families around our farm, as I still remember. So... We walked to school and we arrived on time. <laughs> After school also, uh, we walk to the farm and we will arrive very, very late at the farm. I think we arrived, we, we, we arrive, uh, as about 6 p.m. like that. So we'll be tired and eat and sleep so that tomorrow morning we will walk to school again so as a young kid we're happy to you know uh, to walk to go to school it was like you know we are enjoying ourselves as we are waking playing and then we end up seeing ourselves at school and we end up seeing ourselves back to school at the farm yeah so at school uh, the government were providing us with food we're eating soft porridge called maluti. We're eating uh, beans. We're eating also, you know, the rough uh, sorghum that is not uh, chopped. Yeah, I think like that. So it was very nice. The food was very nice. We're enjoying our food. We're enjoying, you know, to play together. We're enjoying uh, when the teacher, um, when the teacher teaches us, we are really enjoying everything about primary school. So um, uh, coming back to the generation of today, so uh, they, are, they don't walk. They are dropped by the parents at school and they also hire the taxis and other transport to carry them to school. Just imagine. <laughs> they don't walk at all. That is why you'll find them that, you know, they are not strong like us. As we are strong because, you know, we, we, we are exercising every day. And it's very good for, for a person to exercise every day so that you live long and also you will be strong in your life. And you will not get old uh, early. You will grow slowly and surely like that. So, so, um... At the farm, our grandparents, uh, you know, they plow maize, they plow beans, sorghum, sugar, cane, watermelon, and others. So it really, it was a beautiful experience. I hope, um, you know, the what I'm sharing with you is really interesting. So if you, uh, you like this uh, video, give it a thumbs up and also share to others yeah, and don't forget to subscribe consider to subscribe so um yeah i was saying that they were playing those food so and then during the weekend as the student as a young girl uh will be helping our parents to go into the field if it if it's the time for you know for removing the weeds or for cutting the weeds from the plants 
So we'll be early, early in the morning Saturdays, we'll go to the farm and remove the uh, remove the weeds or sometimes to chase the birds uh, so that they don't eat the soga. Yeah. So uh, from there we go back home to start uh, preparing the tea, as I told you, to, uh, to cook porridge and thereafter wash the dish and started to clean the house and later on we'll be doing our washing our school uniform and uh, after uh, our uni unif our school uniform is when we will go to the river to bath sometimes we even use the water you know if uh, there was raining it was raining last night sometimes we, we use that water you know for washing our clothes the, the water that is you know on the floor for washing just like that or normally our parents were taking the tank and putting them um by the by the iron sheet a sheet so that the water will flow inside the inside the bucket and inside the tank so it was a wonderful life at the farm uh i wish i could i could show the farm right now my grandmother is hundred and hundred years so she's no longer plowing. I am no longer plowing, but I'm deciding. I decided in my head that very soon I'll be plowing. I'll show you my garden so that, you know, I go back to the life that I was living uh, at, the early, at the early time. Yeah, I hope you are really uh, grasping something from this. So, and the other thing for plowing that time, we're saving money. Uh, somebody will ask me how were you saving money uh, because there were food uh, from the produce at the farm uh, so we're eating from our farm uh, you know uh, we're, 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 we're getting beans we're getting uh, sometimes we get the veggie from the farm just like that so the food was plentiful so that is why uh, I was saying that we, we managed to save some cash. So, so when we plow, uh, when we plow uh, at our, uh, in our country, Botswana, uh, in Southern Africa, uh, we have a challenge here because it's not raining all the time. It rains once and then we'll go to plow. But I heard that in other countries, in other African people, they, 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 they can plow twice. They plow twice in a year. So uh, that means they have plenty of food. But beside that, uh, we are not running short of food. Even though we plow once, uh, we'll keep the food uh, for the next year so that we'll plow. So uh, food was not a problem and we're saving money, uh, you know, for other things so really this is the end of my video today and i really uh, i hope you have enjoyed something i hope you have really um you know learned something because um children of today uh they are busy you know uh with other things they are not going to their parents were not taught them to go to visit their parents farm and they're just staying in the in town and then later on they'll be just moving up and down not having anything to do but it, if you know farming if you have been uh, going to after when school closed you go to farming uh, when you finish your school before you get a job you can also be a farmer or you can go and assist your parents so this is the teaching that I brought today that uh, we have to go back. Uh, as our president normally say, you know, we have to change. We have to change. Honestly, we have to change our mindset so that we can go back uh, to our beginning where our parents were plowing, where our parents uh, were producing food from the garden uh, instead of uh, buying everything. Yeah. So uh, this is what I brought for you. So I want to say to you, watch uh, 
this video up to the end and kindly uh, subscribe kindly subscribe uh, like and share the video because it's got a, a good vibes and may the lord bless you uh, and allow uh, this story to go viral and then when you 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 send this story viral guys you'll be helping someone someone who you know fin who has finished uh, the school the university and uh, staying home without anything maybe he can uh, start um, having a plan b that he can go back to the to the farm to to the parents maybe borrow the farm for the parents and then start plowing guys uh, we can talk and talk and the sack cannot fill it up so until the next episode episode i love you i love you i love you dearly be blessed amen and amen i love you with all my love bye bye for now